okay? Again, very simple setup of the drill, but we're always going to have a D lineman at the front. There's a trash barrel there so that he can strike with hands and get some type of initial takeoff. Behind him, there will either be a linebacker or a third level safety or corner that is attacking inside out to the football, okay? On the movement, we're going to go. The ball carrier is going to take off. You'll see our D lineman does a great job. We teach our D lineman this. You are pressing the hip of the ball carrier. You are not running to cut the ball carrier off. If you run to cut the ball carrier off, you give an opportunity for the ball carrier to cut back. When the ball carrier cuts back, we lose the entire integrity of our second and third level pursuit angles. Anytime the ball carrier is able to cut back against the grain, everything behind it gets out of whack because it's all running at an angle of pursuit to the ball, okay? And so it's really important that that first man presses the hip of the ball carrier, even if he gets outrun because the speed flattens out and outruns him, that's okay. He will force a flat angle that everybody coming from the second and third level can adjust to, okay? What he can't do is overrun the football. So you'll see him press, get a good tag off. You get a really good look from the second level here of pressing downhill, getting his body under control at the finish, pressing, getting his belly button on the near hip, right, and putting himself in position to make that tackle, right? Really good rep, really good emphasis point. Okay, come back again. Now take the third level and put it in. Take the second level out. Same thing up front. Really good job by the D lineman of pressing into the angle, right? Forcing the thing to run. I'd like him to get a little bit more solid tag off here, but it's a good job pressing the angle, right? Good job by the third level, pressing into the hip, getting the hips on the near, or getting the hips on the near hip of the ball carrier. 